Hello guys, we are looking at the ICM-222 and what it is is a lockout protection module. This is built for the compressor, sort of an add-on device if you don't have those controls already integrated into your system. Or I thought of some ways you can sort of adapt it to do different things, whatever you want it to do. But the design is to protect the compressor. So as we can see here, ICM controls made in the United States. Yippee doo -dah. that's very good. And we're going to take a look across the top. Right here we have LP1 and LP2. That is where you put your leads for the low pressure switch. Y is your incoming Y signal from the thermostat. We have a flow switch, which is like our condensate switch that will hook in right there on these two leads. That'll be like our pan switches or SS1, SS2, that sort of thing. Then we have our HP1 and HP2 high pressure switch, as you might have guessed. We have the output to the contactor comes in on Y up here at the top and is output here on the CC terminal. We also have an input for our R, red 24 volt from the transformer and our common. This is a fault output. And what happens if we have certain conditions, it'll put a signal out on that output if you want some sort of device that will let you know when there is a fault. If you want to set some kind of relay up that'll be energized when there's a fault. You can really have, you know, whatever you want to do with that. But that is a fault output, of course, it's 24 volts. If the low pressure switch is triggered as an open, or the high pressure switch is triggered as an open after the five minute time delay that's built into this board goes out, meaning there's a five minute delay when the Y signal comes in. If during that delay either one of these switches is open, the compressor will not energize. You will not get this signal out on CC. If it happens that these switches open while the system is running, it will shut off and go into the short cycle delay of five minutes. If it does it three times within 60 minutes, it will lock out until the power is shut off to the board, meaning you have no more R signal coming in. So you have to cycle power in order to reset it. That's three times if the low pressure switch or high pressure switch or even the flow switch open within that 60 minute period. Now the flow switch, whenever the unit energizes, this switch is ignored for 30 seconds. So it's bypassed. So you have a 30 second period where that switch cannot open and cause the system to shut off. After 30 seconds, if that switch is still open, the system will shut down. You can put your condensate on there. I also toyed with the idea of using this for a freeze stat terminal, meaning if the you start the unit up and it's really, let's say you have a unit in like a shed outside. I've, I've had some units that are placed in little outbuildings, uh, shed roofs, little mechanical housing areas. If it's extremely cold in that area, a free switch may go off just sitting outside if the unit is not run for, long, for a long enough period. This way, if you hook it to these flow switch terminals, it will be ignored for 30 seconds while the climate and temperature inside that unit increases where it won't be open any longer, hopefully. So I thought a free stat would be a good thing to put on those terminals, and I have done that when I did use these previous, these controls. So it's just a control to monitor the compressor. It says high pressure switch and low pressure switch, but if you have any other control, you wanna do any temperature sensor, you know, whatever you wanna put on there, you could do. High pressure and low pressure is probably the most common ones to put on there, but if you have a controller that already has those, and you want to monitor something else, let's say discharge temperature, or like I said, the free stat suction temperature, you can do that. I put the free stat on the flow switch terminals, but as you can see, these are just terminals that are monitored. We have a fault that will blink on this LED. It can be whatever you want it to be, but those are the ones it's designed for. That's the ICM-222 lockout protection module.